It's unboxing time. Today on Tap Out Talk, Pro Wrestling Crate 2022, February. Let's get in. Welcome everybody, this is the February 2022 Pro Wrestling Crate from Pro Wrestling Crate. Dot com, a company of pro wrestling tees. This month's crate and feature should be interesting. We were promised a Marvel themed t shirt once again, and let's see what Feb February brings. So, first up, this is what is going to be in next month's crate. I'm not going to read the spoilers because why would I? So, we have next month's crate will feature Eddie Kingston, Kevin Nash, Lucha Brothers, Buddy Murphy, Rob Van Dam. Chris Candido, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and the Honky Tonk Man. That's a good mix of current and in addition to some legends in this box, which you typically see some good young up-and-comers and some legends. So without further ado, let's get right into the first shirt, which is the Marvel-themed shirt of the month. And this is, can you guess it? It is the one, the only Ghost Rider, Hangman Adam Page as Ghost Rider, the current AEW champion. Um, I like the design. I feel like he does fit that Ghost Rider vibe. I will say I like that Pro Wrestling Tees and Pro Wrestling Crate are doing these Marvel theme shirts because that way you kind of blend in a little bit of the comic books mixed with the wrestling. And I know a lot of those universes kind of can transfer back and forth and fans of both. So kudos to them on this one. Um, the Gargano one last month was fun. And I say just keep them coming all month long and all year long. We got the second t-shirt, and that is a legend shirt. It is a Let's Get Nasty, the Nasty Boys, Jerry Sags, and Brian Knobs. So uh, this shirt, um, I kind of feel like I like the design. It's got that Nasty Boy feel and attitude. I'm not hating it. I do feel like I kind of wish that, you know, if they went with a face of a wrestler on one shirt, I kind of wish the second shirt would just be only where it says Nasty Boys, right? Like maybe a throwback like tank top to maybe what they used to wear back in the day of the WWF days. So I feel like there's some little things they could do there or they could go with this kind of a theme. But then again, I don't hate it. I like it. So I think we're two for two so far. Coming up next, uh, it's a miscellaneous item. We have a Dude Love sticker with the Ow, Have Mercy. Um, very good design, very good you know, look. I When I look at it, I almost get like those psychedelic eyes look a little crazy to me. Um, my tip to you guys, if you're not big on these stickers, find some magnet strip sheets that you can buy, usually on any kind of online platform, and then take that and stick it to the magnet strips and cut it out around there, and you can just make it, you know, put it on your fridge, if you have like a, a drink fridge down in your basement, you can throw it on there and you can turn that into a wrestling magnet fridge. All right, we got next is the lapel pin. This is the one, the only, the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. And this is like a two-part pin and the elbow actually is separate from the body. So you can kind of move it in any direction that you want. Uh, you can usually find a lanyard or a cork board to kind of throw these pins at. Maybe a book bag, you know, your dealer's choice on this one. Um, so far, eh, not too bad. All right, next up is a miscellaneous item. Once again, it is a comic book. Actually illustrated by Jerry the King Lawler. And, you know, I don't know if you guys knew this. The Tales from the Road series usually grabs, you know, different artists and different, like, uh, wrestlers. And they ask them to do stuff for the comic book. So I'll definitely be giving this one a look. I like, you know, Jerry the King Lawler is actually a really uh, pretty good artist if you actually look at his stuff. Uh, he used to draw some of that stuff in his feuds with Jerry Lawler. So I would definitely say, hey, this is a great throw-in item. Next, we got our micro brawler. Now, the thing with micro brawlers is people either love them or hate them, right? Like, they, they it's either, hey, I kind of collect them. I'm probably in that person, that weird one in the middle. But this is Conan uh, from WCW days. And then this is um, the classic micro brawler of the month. Eh, not too bad. I mean, you know, to me, I don't know why I get some Breaking Bad vibes when I look at this. Uh, I, I think more Breaking Bad than Conan, but eh. All right, this is definitely probably my favorite item of the month. It's another miscellaneous item. It is a gym bag. It's a drawstring gym bag, and it is the Road Warrior Workout. 
I feel like this does not scream like hey, a big time wrestling fan, but it's very incognito and I love things like that. I love taking things like that out in public and then when people see it, you recognize it, they know that you're a real fan and they're a real fan too. So I definitely like the Road Warrior Workout drawstring bag. I could see myself, you know, throwing some stuff in there like a towel, you know, maybe some shades, things like that and hitting the gym up. So definitely love this edition. Um, not a bad month so far. And our final item is the autograph, and it is a Doc Gallows autograph. Eh, I mean, you know, nothing against Doc Gallows. I just, I feel like now he's so paired with the Good Brothers, with Carl Anderson, that I feel like those two should have been like a tag team double sign, maybe for the next tag team crate. Not hating it, but not loving it. So overall, I feel like this month was decent. I don't feel like, you know, um, there was nothing I truly did not care for this month, but there was also nothing other than the gym bag really stuck out to me. So, guys, hope you enjoy this one. And like we always say, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for all your support. And it's not goodbye around here. It's just game over.